Um, really interesting to see this arriving now, the protests on our shores, as they have been right around the world, Ellie. Yes, good morning to you both. I'm outside the Iranian embassy in West London this morning. Where over my right shoulder, you can see there is a heavy police presence outside the embassy. There's also metal barriers and a banner with Farsi graffiti uh, on the outside of it. So this is just some sign of what we saw here yesterday as protesters clashed with police outside the embassy. We saw scenes of Dozens of angry protesters pushing against a line of police officers who were lined up and protecting the building. Some of them were shouting death to the Islamic Republic. And some of them were waving the former national flag of Iran that was used before 1979. And we did actually see a clip of two police officers actually wrestling a man to the ground who it looked as though had broken through that police line and was heading towards towards the embassy and the Mets say that masonry, bottles and other projectiles were thrown at police officers yesterday. Many of them were injured. Scotland Yard have confirmed that five police officers have been seriously injured in those violent clashes. They are in hospital and some of those injuries do include broken bones. Twelve people have been arrested on suspicion of violent disorder. Now, these protests were expected. We've seen a wave of protests across the world in recent days, all protesting against the Iranian regime after a 22-year-old woman called Masa Amini died in police custody on the 16th of September. Now, she was arrested for allegedly wearing her hijab too loosely and showing some hair. And her family say that she was assaulted and tortured by the so-called morality police uh, in police detention in Iran. There are, of course, very strict dress code laws for women that have been in place since 1979. And we've seen really powerful footage and imagery in Iran in recent days of women burning their hijabs, some of them cutting their hair in the streets, all protesting against these restrictions on personal freedom, especially for women. And yesterday we did see that Iran actually summoned Britain's ambassador over what it says was a hostile environment that is being created by Farsi-based media outlets here in London. So Iran have really been trying to contain uh, protests here in London. That hasn't happened. It wasn't the scenes that we saw here yesterday, not only outside the embassy, but also in Maida Vale, which is where uh, the Islamic Centre for England was targeted. Now, the Met have said that they respect the right for people to protest peacefully, but they will not tolerate unprovoked attacks on their officers. They say they will be going through CCTV to try and arrest the people uh, who have committed the most serious of offences. And for the next few days, Eamon and Isabel, I think we will see very heavy police presence here. They know that passions are inflamed. They know that tensions are high. And there is going to be a Section 35 dispersal order in place, which allows police to have the power to break up groups of two or more people who they think uh, could be intent on causing harm. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Newswise, here's what's happening. Time just after quarter past 